What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Oh no, I forgot to A-B test a subject line on my upcoming email blast <laughs> to people that attended my webinar last week. How can I do a webinar about using data and then not A-B test the subject line? Gotta go into my MailChimp account and show you guys how to A-B test a subject line in MailChimp. Let's get right to it. So here's my campaign that you can see right here that I forgot to A-B test the subject line. Now MailChimp does not let you go back in and edit this feature. You actually have to start a new campaign. So if you're stuck on that, this is what you need to do. You need to go in to your design and save it as a template, okay? And then once you do that, just start from scratch, create new campaign. And then what you're gonna do is select email. And then instead of regular, which most of you probably do or did in this case, what I did, uh, I'm gonna select A, B test over here on the right. And then I'm gonna say power post webinar follow up, A, B test subject line. And I'm going to begin the campaign. And then I'm going to choose that same list that I had chosen for my other, my other one. And I'm going to A-B test to the entire list. So I'm going to click Next down here in the bottom right-hand corner. And then I want to test the subject line. See, there's four different things that you can test in MailChimp. Subject line from name, which is cool content, which would be the design of your email, and then the send time, which is interesting. Uh, you probably hear a lot of people debating what time should you send your email. Don't debate, A, B, test. The proof is in the data, my friends. Um, what percentage of your recipients should receive your test combination? Here's the way this works. This little sliding scale here means that if I, my list is 206 people, so if I A-B test the first 30%, that means that 61 out of the 206 recipients will get the test segment. And then the, uh, the winning segment will be served to the remaining 145 people. So I kind of like those numbers. So I'm going to test 30% and then I'm going to serve up the winning segment to the remaining 70. So this is what we're going to do. So it depends on the size of your list, basically. It's a relatively small list here. So we're going to determine a winning combination by, you can determine it by click rate, open rate, something like total revenue, which we don't have in this case. Um, we're going to go ahead and do it by open rate for this one, and let's just do it. Yeah, I don't know if I want to give four hours. Well, MailChimp says four hours, so we'll keep it as four hours. All right. When in doubt, keep the MailChimp defaults. So we're going to click Next. We're going to test the subject line. We're going to do two combinations of the subject line. And then um, email subject one, we kind of like the one we had, which was, damn, that webinar felt good. Okay. Now it's time to take action. And the data says that emojis in the subject line actually do really well. So we're going to do this little smirking emoji. And then we're going to test that against you attended our webinar. Now, receive, uh, receive your about get your free Google Analytics assessment. And then the preview text, um, we had some good preview text, but this is where you can kind of type in whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna say thank you for attending our damn 
it feels good to use data webinar last Thursday. We'd love to help you understand your web data. Okay, once we do that, we can continue on to the next aspect of our email blast, which is the from name and the from email address. Now again, this is something you can A-B test, but you can only A-B test one thing at a time. I'm gonna use my from name. And then we're gonna track all of our stuff. That looks good. All right, next. Now we select our template. So the template we saved was the data-driven design webinar follow-up. So we don't need to make any changes to this. Now this was if you already created a MailChimp campaign and then you were like, oh crap, I wanna A-B test the subject line. And if you're just creating one from scratch, you would um, put your design in here. That all looks good to me. Once you make sure that your design looks good, you're gonna see list, two total combinations, the test campaign will be sent to 30, your first 30% of your recipients in two random segments. The combination of variables with the highest open rate will be sent to the remaining 70% after four hours. So that's the way your A-B test works. First subject line, damn, that webinar felt good. Now it's time to take action, smirk face emoji. Subject line two, you attended our webinar and get your free Google Analytics assessment. So you can see one's super off the wall, the other is like really, really straightforward and vanilla, and so we're gonna see which one works best based on the data, and then we are going to have a winner. So we're gonna schedule this one to send um, at, I'm gonna do 8 a.m. Eastern time today. Schedule campaign, and boom shakalaka. Your campaign email has been scheduled. Everybody, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I'm Paul Hickey. This has been your data-driven daily tip. You know what to do. Have a great day!